Oh, g'day again, John Dan on the Tunage here in uh, Melbourne, Australia. Um, yeah, nice quiet day at home today. There's nobody else here. So there'll be no cheeky comments from the cheap seats or aliens popping up behind me. Um, <laughs> yeah, just me and uh, the cat and something to drink. And um, yeah, we went to a, a record fair yesterday here just down the road from us. And they didn't have that many sellers, but a couple of them had really good stuff. And there was... Yeah, quite a feeding frenzy from all the people that were there trying to get the stuff. So I reckon I missed out on some good things. But, um, yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, yeah, the first one of the LPs that I got was uh, some Billy Holiday. Uh, this cost $3, I remember. It's like a jazzy interpretations, as it says. Yeah, I haven't spun them yet because they've just only just been cataloging them and Cleaning them or whatever. Uh, that's on Columbia. It's an American pressing, a later version from the 70s. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Diamanda Galaz really liked Billie Holiday. So if she's good enough for her, uh, she'll be good enough for me. So yeah, we'll make sure that gets a listen. Uh, the second one, uh, this was an EP that I bought when I was first buying records back in 83. I remember this came out. This is Australiana by Ostentatia. It's like a comedy uh, sort of song, or more spoken word than a song. Um, yeah, he does all puns on Australian place names and um, uh, local wording and stuff. Yeah, it's really good. It was so popular. It was huge. I remember this thing. And yeah, the, the first ones had a picture sleeve, but then later they had so, they were making so many, they didn't even bother. They just gave you a plane. And yeah, it cost $4 back then in 83, and I paid 5 so and that's a beautiful minty one too. Uh, this one also cost me a five, and I've got no idea what it sounds like. It's just, um, yeah, one of those ones that you see, it's Australian, so you grab it. And it's uh, Gotham City and Radioactive. And, yeah, it's a really nice uh, textured <coughs> textured uh, sleeve. And I don't know much about it, except it came out in about 80... Goodness me, I think 82. And... Apparently it's it's um, the band of Rob Tillett, which I'm assuming that's him there. Um, and when I was looking up what other stuff he has, uh, he was in a band, uh, what were they called? Uh, Red Angel Panic. And they put out some 7-inch singles in the 70s, very early 70s. So that's, yeah, I've got a bit of research and homework to do on that. But yeah, five bucks and people are grabbing stuff left, right and centre. You just pick it up and bring it home. And, uh, yeah, the seller had a lot of um, stuff because I used to work in a record shop called Brashes, which was, yeah, the people in Melbourne will know what that was. And, um, yeah, they went under in probably the very early 90s, I think. But they used to have a chain of stores, you know, around various places in Melbourne. Um, yeah, so this seller obviously was getting a lot of samples and freebies and promos and stuff. So, um, yeah, got some madness. Uh, Dance Crazy. Yeah, most of these just look like they haven't haven't been played. And this is a tour, probably a tour edition for Australia here. April, May 1981. So yeah, that's a while ago. A four-track EP. And uh, yeah, had like a flyer for a competition that they had running at the time. And um, yeah, um, oh, who did the stiff records? That was uh, Mike PC31 from memory, so... There's what the Aussie one looks like. That's a stiff from Australia in 81. And the only other madness I could grab on vinyl was this one, the Rise and Fall. Um, once again, that's on stiff. And uh, this has got Our House from memory. The Yeah, yeah, B-side, yeah, track one, Our House. And of course, that was famously used in The Young Ones. Oh, brilliant. Love that show. And, um, yeah, she had a lot of uh, the Split Ends stuff. Split Ends, Crowded House, Chanel Fenster, those sort of things. Um, and I grabbed a few that I could. This is uh, their first album called Mental Notes. And this, um, from what I know, there's all different versions and different titles. But this is the Australian first one. Oh, what's this, 75, I think. And it's a gatefold. And uh, Timothy Finn there and 
Philip Judd. Yeah, this is really good. I, I haven't had a good listen. I've, I've heard a few tracks on YouTube from when I was looking them up once before. Bit of a bizarre cover there of the Crying Baby, but I think this is Phil Judge art, artwork too from memory. Um, and uh, yeah, it's got the yeah Mushroom Records were fairly new at the time, I think. And there's the inner the inner sleeve, which was for that, and all the mushies coming out of Australia. Yeah, that was uh, Michael Gudinski's uh, label, and that's the label there. And I think the um, there's another one called Second Thoughts, and yeah, I'm not really an expert on splits to be honest, but some of their stuff's really good. The old, the the pre-commercial stuff, anyway. And this is Second Thoughts, and this was uh, done over in England by Phil Manzanera, who was the uh, Roxy Music guy, and. Um, yeah, you get a big sticker for him on there. And of course, yeah, they're in all their clown gear by now. <clears throat> Pardon me. And yeah, there's uh, Tim there. Phil's over here. And um, yeah, even Phil, look at that. Gets himself a picture on the back of it as well. And that's also on Mushroom. Now, I think some of them, the second thoughts is the first one. And the first one's second thoughts, if that makes sense. Or the... Yeah, the mental notes. Yeah, I think there's yeah, there's a bit of a mix between the two. But these are the Australian pressings, so they're the the ones we got here locally. And um, yeah, Mike at MGK Boston, he was spelling. He's got a thread going where you spell your where you come from, and he used um, one of the split ends as in his video. And that's this happens. Yeah, I just picked up the Aussie one, which I didn't have, which is the corroboree. Um, the overseas people will have it as uh, Waitara, I think it is. And the colouring is, um, I think you've got like a pinkish pinkish or purpley one for memory, but this is a, probably the brown for ochre, which is relevant for us here. And Mushroom Label, the later one. This is about 80, I think this came out in 81, and um, Neil Finn had, would have come in by now. Uh, yeah, where is he? That looks like Neil there. Brother Tim up the top. Yeah, Phil Judd had left by now, but yeah, these ended up, yeah, they were huge. They had, um, yeah, uh, One Step Ahead, uh, History Never Repeats. Yeah, massive songs. Yeah, they were hugely popular by the 1980, 81. I think the one before this is the one with the laser etched. Um, I think True Colours. Um, yeah, this is Corroboree from, yeah, 81. And the most boring inner sleeve you can get, just plain black. And jumped on with some 7-inch uh, singles as well. And a couple from Lenny Lovich, which is the same song. Um, what Would I Do Without You? And that's the single version, or the single ver or the single record version. And once again, that's on the stiff label. And there was also a promo special edition of it. That's a double. That's a double record. It's got the same record, but it's got like a second record as well. And that folds out to a little promo. Yeah, these are both Aussie ones. So that's like a different cover, and there's the guy that he's in just about all, I can't remember his name, but he's in just about all of the clips, of course. But yeah, absolutely love Lenny Lovich, and yeah, trying to pick up some seven inches of hers when I can, and that's one that I picked up. I don't I'm not sure which one you have over, I know I've got a German one that's got a different cover as well, so that's uh, some Lenny Lovich. Uh, this is an absolute killer video, I love it, Blamange. Living on the ceiling. Uh, what's that on London? Recordings. Yeah, absolutely classic video. And the, yeah, those Arabic girls are just stunning, just quietly. Uh, somebody else was diving into the Roxies, but I did get this one. Uh, same old scene. And yeah, that's a great track from the Flesh and Blood album. And yeah, beautiful condition. Yeah, I know... There was a few others that the seller had, but yeah, like I said, somebody was jumping on. Yeah, on Polydor, of course. 
A bit more split ends. This is the one step ahead. And this is one of those laser etch ones. So that's, uh, yeah, they're gorgeous looking things. Yeah, this is a, like the big hole, so it's an American, American edition. So one step ahead on laser etched. Uh, I couldn't pass this one up. This is divine. <laughs> Classic, you think you're a man, but you're only a boy. That was, oh, absolute good, good. So yeah, it did reasonably well here from memory on shake label. But yeah, Divine used to pull these outrageous faces. It's just so much fun to watch. And uh, yeah, I think there's a story about Molly Meldrum here, who was our countdown host. He'd been talking up Divine, and apparently that when Divine did turn up, uh, something that he com actually com consumed in the Pink Flamingos video, um, Molly couldn't believe it, and apparently he slagged him after that. But I've got to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure... Meldrum was not impressed when he heard the story of what Divine did in one of his movies. Um, another sort of humorous sort of one. Arthur Daly. <laughs> He's all right. Yeah, great one. Yeah, it's got like a... You can almost... You almost need subtitles for this one. It's really good. And some Aussie uh, ones we managed to find. Uh, the Swingers. And that was um, one of Phil Judd's... Uh, incantations after split ends and this is one track mind these are really flimsy paper sleeves They're almost just like normal paper it's yeah that it's lucky they last this long and that's on uh, mushroom and this was their big hit or it was I think Paul Kelly in his book says are uh, the the one to put the kids through college song and yeah counting the beat and that was a massive hit in Australia and I think Companies have used that in advertising that, so yeah, it'd be a good little earner for him, I reckon. It's got like a, thank goodness nobody's filled it out, but it's like a join the dots thing on it. Yeah, Counting the Beat by the Swingers. Yeah, massive hit that was. Uh, this was one that I was lucky to find because I'm reading a book on New Zealand stuff, and uh, these were New Zealanders. Uh, Ray Columbus and the Invaders, and she's a mod. And this is the 81 repress, which has actually got a picture sleeve, which is good. Um, yeah, I think this came out in 64, which was a good year. And yeah, she's a mod, 1981 on, this is on Epic. I, I don't know how old, how rare the originals would be. Yeah, they're probably pretty expensive, but yeah, another one of those, key, the early 60s Kiwi bands that came over and did well in Australia. And some mentals. Yeah, I love the mentals. So this is uh, the one for Come Around. This is quite an early one, I think, on it's regular. Uh, this is a really good tune, Spirit Got Lost. And I'm pretty sure that is Reg Mombasa's artwork. And the interesting one on the back, they've got like a lawnmower. I know they use that in one of their albums, but that, there's a cemetery shot, and I'm a, Absolute Cemetery Nerd, and that's uh, Waverley Cemetery in Sydney. That is a very famous one because it's on the beach, which is a bit unusual, but it's, yeah, you get gorgeous views from that one. And, um, yeah, here we go again, the reels. Uh, I used them in one of the uh, previous videos, I think, for the spelling. And uh, look at that. Yeah, this is the, um, This Guy's In Love With You, the, oh, is that a Burt Bacharach song, I think, from Remember? It's, they do a, a brilliant version of it, and who else does hair sniffing? There's someone I know, some president of some country, but yeah, there's a pretty good hair sniff going on there. And another one from the Reels, uh, Sing Along With The Reels. This is, uh, yeah, Shout and Deliver, Depression is the B-side, and that's, uh, on Mercury. Uh, Jojo Zepp, Taxi Mary. This is a brilliant tune. Really good poppy, boppy sound. Sort of jazzy, um, scary a little bit, I think. But this was, yeah, quite a good song for Jojo Zepp. We ended up having Jojo Zepp and the Falcons and, yeah, numerous incantations. But really good sound for that one, Taxi Mary. Uh, this band, my mum... 
absolutely loved, and I don't know where her stuff went, but her, her collection would have been worth zillions. But this is uh, Tism, or oh, this is Serious Mum. Uh, for those about to rock, which they're mocking, or oh, they're using the ACDC, and of course they use a sort of a cannon, they've got an iron board. Yeah, they're crazy guys, the Tism. Um, I think this is a yeah recent one on, it's like a khaki purpley brown vinyl. Yeah, this is the only record I've got of theirs. I should have more of their stuff, but a lot of it's really expensive. They just go for crazy money. But yeah, for those about to rock from Tism. And uh, one of Nick Cave's uh, bands, uh, Grinder Man. <laughs> Great song. Uh, no Pussy Blues. So you can figure out what that's about. And that's a, like a limited edition, but like mine's 2844, so there must be <laughs> thousands of them out there. So Grinder Man, a.k.a. Nick Cave. Uh, Coup d'etat, they had that one album only that goes for big money, and Tina's looking very elegant there. This is one of their well-known songs, Too Young for Promises. Uh, Scribble, yeah, I'll try to get yeah, Joanna Piggott's stuff. This was the song. Uh, did it chart? I think it did. Ah, uh, yeah, Silly Girl from her, Scribble. Uh, a couple from the Triffids. You don't miss your water till your well runs dry. Hot Records, yeah, that classic, um, oh, what's this, 85, I think. That one, yeah, beautiful condition one. And one of my favourite songs of theirs, and actually isn't sing, sung by Dave, it's sung by um, uh, Jill Burt. Goodbye, Little Boy. This is an absolute classic track. I love it. This is right at the end on the Black Swan album, and, yeah, they busted up, I think, that same year or within a year. Yeah, Goodbye, Little Boy. Um, if you know the Cranes, if you know Alison Shaw's vocals, that really girly, soft voice, that's what this is. Uh, yeah, that is Jill in the Shades there. And, uh, yeah, just an absolute killer tune. Love it. And a couple from The Stems. The first two songs from their album, actually, isn't it? Yeah, there's At First Sight. And Sad Girl. And the last one we found was The Saints, called uh, Let's Pretend. I think this is 81. It's supposed to be a limited edition, but once again, it's numbering well into the thousands, so there must be tons out there. But, yeah, this is, yeah, they're not punk anymore. They're sort of just, I don't know. <laughs> Standard rock, I suppose you could call it. Yeah, song Let's Pretend, and I think Gypsy's on the B side. Oh, Gypsy Woman, yeah, there you go. Which I think is a cover of a 60s song. I have to look that up, but yeah, so don't quote me on that. But that was the last one we got. Oh, so there you go. There's a few things we found. Uh, yeah, there's another big record for you next weekend, so yeah, I've got to save the pennies for that. And. Um, yeah, for everybody who watched, thanks very much. Cheers, and I'll see you later.